Oh, what a time. All right. It's a messy miracle bench. Oh, baby. 19. She's going on around dumbfounds here.
Yeah, you're real good. You had to give me a chance to get, get it back in. All right, get rolling. Get rolling. Don't touch nothing. I got the game rolling. Right now, we got the eight-minute zone. Check the radio meter or the movement of the radio meter, but um, how's it looking up? Because you know, because you know what it looks like. Got a little more speed, a little more velocity, a little more spread, or no? You know that sound you get when you're right under somebody's antenna? Beautiful right now, but other than that, you know that sound you get when you're too close. Unfortunately, you had next to zero, zero non audibility. It was still audible as hell. Just I can't give you that answer to you a couple of blocks away, but you know what I'm saying. But it's beautiful. What I hear, what I'm talking about, beautiful. Yeah, audio check, radio check, you're working. Yeah, audio check, radio check, you are working, man. I got the video gate rolling. I got the video gate rolling. No bouts to doubt it. We on the 10-minute uh, zone, 10-10. Holy shit. 
shit, the volume's fucking loud. What's loud? The volume. Volume in where? On her radio. Whose radio? My radio? No, this one here. Oh, you got, you mean you, uh, you, you turn the volume down. You got a volume knob. So where are you headed now? I got to make a drop over there uh, on the lake. Roger D. Right now you're still in my strawberry. So leave the box off till you get down to like a five or a seven, you know, when you can see a difference when you click, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's off. All right, get, get rolling. Uh, I'm gonna make me a pot of coffee. You know, if I don't answer you, just give me a couple of seconds, and I'll be right there. All right. See, you got somebody out there that want to talk to you already. Two two fives all coked up again. Casey Jones having a rough one. I'll be back, Mike. It's a 20. Uh, Utica. Making my way back out to Atlantic. You're really, really going to like the sound quality coming off that bitch now. Serious. <laughs> Still barefoot. Utica and President. Roger D. Roger D. Keep an eye on your windshield, man. Look what happens when you're just approaching St. John's intersection. As soon as you cross Easton, watch what's happening. Yeah, 
I'm on the rise now. As soon as you pass St. John's, you're going to flatten out. As soon as you pass St. John's, as soon as you, in the middle of that intersection, you're probably going to flatten out. Now look behind you and look in front of you. As soon as you nail Sterling, yeah, it starts going down. Yeah, I'm at Eastern now, so I can see it's down behind me. Now listen to me, please listen. When you're in the middle of St. John's, look to your left. Look about three blocks down. To Troy, see how Saint, see that hump in Saint John's, see that hump up in Saint John's. That's where I'm gonna be. Troy, I'm 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 gonna be on Troy. Cause I'm like three like three, three, three off Troy on Union. So I got pretty much same height. <laughs> Sidewalk to sidewalk, it's actually 30 feet higher than standing in front of 194. And what, this is where you're going? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm leveled off now. Alright, now watch. L look at Sterling. Between Sterling and Park, man. Left side, your left side, the beauty parlor. I was that that building, the beauty parlor. take those readings when you pop the meter back out. We're going to get a couple of transmissions and I'm going to make you gun that mic knob all the way to the right. Echo's okay? Yeah. I hardly hear any and then that, you know, the less, the less I hear in my speaker and the more you hear in yours, the better it is. We at one eight one nine in the video gate. You notice I didn't do it to you, right? You notice that didn't spark that L while you were here, right? What? I was keyed up, what? I said you notice I didn't do it to you. You notice that didn't spark that spliff while you were here. I still do, but just not right now. I took it as you didn't no more, that's why I didn't spark it like that, you know? Oh, you could have, I'm good. Alright, I'm out to Atlantic. It's nice to know that uh, as far as this table is concerned, the grant and the President Richard are identical, and the 2950 and your striker are identical. <laughs> Good enough for me. Seven nine. 
Probably gonna be dipping below the five or up to five, whatever. After you bang the left, you made a left on Atlantic. Yeah, I'm already already going up. Yeah, I'm already going up. Yeah, I'm already 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 already going
Dude, you're like hanging solid. You're coming, listen. You're going to hear it. You will never, listen. You're, you're going to hear it, and you're, you're going to see something that you ain't seen before. So I'm just going to wait till, you're going to have to wait for the video game. <laughs> and the HPC is the MOSFETs, right? Uh, all my, uh, my HP got 2290s in it. Some all got MOSFETs. Right, but the newer model, the HPC, that, that that's the one that's got, um, it's got one, one 520 driving three 520, because it, it looks like under his fan kit, it looks like under his, you know, the way it's, the way the mount, the way it's mounted up with the flange in the back and all that other shit, it looks to me like instead of that being a 2290, he's got the four monsters in there, one driving three. But it came in Pepin 90 and left Pepin about between 120 and 140. So, you know, um, that's what I was concerned with. It, it looks like to me in his particular unit, he might got the newer one, and the drive chain back there is four monsters. MOSFETs, the one driving three. That bed, truthfully, all joking aside, on the full RF power knob, it should it should be dead key in about sixty swinging. If I if if I got it correctly. It should be somewhere between a 50 and 70 watt dead key on a full power knob swinging. Because you, 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 you tally those three MOs as 35 a bang. So, you know, there you have it. So, on, on a dead key, it, you know, it should be 20 a pop. I'm saying that, like somewhere between 15 and 20 a pop. So, say 18 times 3. I mean, uh, it had. We did, we did, we did, we did four watt readings before we did it, and then we did four afterwards. We did the, we did the close, we did the the twelve, we did the three, and we did the full. So we got four different settings. We got the, all the way down to the left. We got the twelve, we got the three, and we got the full gun. We took all those readings, and uh, we came out a little bit better on the top end. As a matter of fact, uh, the four. I did what I did. It was dead key in my shit at about three, 380, 400. After I got done, it was dead key in my shit like 580, 600. You feel me? Don't you got any brand new mics? Don't you got any brand new superstars left out of what I gave you, or did you let them go with them damn radios? You know, I let everything go with radios. You clown. You were supposed to keep one of those superstars no matter what. Well, listen, if you see Brooklyn Kid today, throw him an extra dub, and I'll slip you one of these glass plastic wrap brand new ones, okay? I got one left in the, I got one left in the crib. 
as soon as the check cashing joint opens up, I'll hit the buttons for some more. So either you scop the, either you get this last one that's left when BK come, or uh, you got to wait till the pickup. Uh, you know, a couple of days later, I'll have some more. I ain't worried about no fight. I got to worry about some dismo correct. I got correct. I need to bring it to you and let you do this. Listen, if I was you, I'd be more worried about the mic. The coax is a good thing to do, but I'd be real worried about that mic, man. More than anything. All I gotta do is clean the mic shit out. It's an old ass mic, Mr. Girl. This is one of these, I'm gonna call it like you call it, the Frankenstein. It was one of the first range of mics they started making. The mic is so rusty, Mr. Grip. I need to clean it. Okay, so the trigger went south and the thing is still alive. That's the sound I'm hearing. I don't know if the spray is going to help you there, but... Alright, now, uh, what kind of coax you got? RGA 400. No problem. How many how many, how many feet pieces you got? I got 20 feet. It puts me on today, though. I got 20 feet, got one 20 feet. That's enough. No, I know I need 18 feet, but I got 20 just in case, you know, something happens. No, Rabbit. Listen. Listen, listen to the number, so please listen to me. Um, on the coax, listen to the three numbers for the, for the vehicle, the long vehicle you got. You're either going to run 12-1 from connector to connector, or you're going to run 18 one and a half, 18 feet, inch and a half from tip to tip, or 24-2. Those are your three options. So you clip the 20... So it's got to be precisionly cut down to 18, one and a quarter. I got you. I know that. That's I got 20. Okay, I got you. Uh, you got the connectors for you? got the PL259s or no? Yeah, they're supposed to be coming with you too. Ain't nothing coming on there. You know, it's going to have to be put down. All right, no, no, that's all good. That's the best way to do it, you know? No, I got you, I got you man. I got you. Uh, I, you. Listen, I put that special mojo in there, man. Because uh, you got the 400, so the, the 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 way the way we cut that down, the way we tin up that jacket before we put that connector on, and the way that shit grabs when it does a melt drop, forget about it, man. Ground Central. But you know the RG 400 are real small. It's not as big as the uh, Alamo 400, though. Oh, oh, oh! You got the 400 flex.